in the episode 7 of 3030 stem program we have uh, talked about very interesting similarity between uh, the sphere the cylinder and the cone now uh, let's let's once again have a closer look in, into three of these objects is now you can see that they are all these three objects are similar when you uh, keep on stacking uh, circles on each other so every time you uh, do the cross section of these three objects you get a circle right so these three objects are nothing but uh, 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 circles stack, stacked up on top of each other now you uh, look at the uh, sphere and the cone the radius of the circles getting changed but uh, here in, in our uh, cylinder it's, it remains same the radius of the uh, all the circles remains same and often uh, we can relate it with the objects surrounded us we can uh, no, see these shapes in oranges khira and putrid that's how we have talked out, talked about this objects in the episode 7 but now if you look at the uh, uh, comparing the sphere and the cone. Uh, now let me just move the uh, slider and this all animations are available on the GeoGebra and you can also use them and uh, also play around with them and in fact we are uh, I mean recommending you to also make such application. Now you see the radius of the cone which has been uh, uh, shown here uh, with, with, with the red dot so you can see that it's uh, the increment is linear with respect to its heights but whereas you see uh, the uh, rate of change in the sphere it's, it's it's not a linear one right so now can you uh, give me the answer with respect to uh, uh, the constant x or with respect to the uh, distance from the center with what rate the distance of uh, with what rate the radius is getting changed for sphere and you can uh, very well see here for the cylinder it remains constant here thank you thank you very much